Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I will tell you about the internships. I will guide you about how to get internships, when to get internships, where to get internships, and all your doubt regarding it. So this will be a complete guide for you guys. So do watch the video till the end. And I have also named the organization where you can do the internships. And I also provided my suggestion as per my experience. Like I have done two to three internships. So as per my experience, I have also tried to. Guide you at the end, so watch the the complete video to for the complete information. Okay, so starting with what is an internship? Basically, internship is a uh, is a way where you go and work in the industry or in in the organization where you wanna pursue your job in the future or something and get the practical experience. You get the practical work experience. You get the on ground work. How is the work going on on ground? Like you have read the theories in your in your college and such things in your books, but you in during internships you get the practical experience. You got to see how that is the things which you study during colleges how they are used in the real life. Okay, and you. Also get awareness about the industry, you, and and the most important thing is there is a credit in your semester for your internship, so you have to do that. And internships most probably boost your resume if you have done internships from a good organization, it boosts your resume, and like it helps you in placements also. So th there are many perks of internships and all. I have covered all that in the uh, next slide, so just be with me. So this was all. What is internships and all? Basically, internships in a nutshell, I can say that it is a way where you work in the industry and get the practical experience of the things that you study in your books and in your colleges. Okay. So the next question is like, how to apply for internships? There are two to three ways. First, the the company. There are many companies which during the summer break or something, they they give out the vacancies that we are hiring intern. We are doing this. So you have to keep your eyes on those advertisement and you have to apply for that. And if you fulfill those criteria, you will get the internships. And the second second way is you have to contact the organization. You have to go to like go to the office, go to the headquarters. You can contact the organization that you want to do the internships. Then they will ask you to give the letter of recommendation from an institute. And after that, they will you can do the internships. They will give you the timing like for this month you can do here and you can pursue the internships. Regarding letter of recommendation, that is LOR, you can get this very easily from the training and placement or the career development cell of your institute. Uh, either contact the student coordinator, the tab coordinator, or con just mail mail them. They will provide you the letter of recommendation, and the, you have to submit the LOR in that department, the organization, and you will get the internship. And the third and the most effective way is use your recommendation, use your sources, use your contact. This is the most important way, or this is the most effective way in which you can get the internships. Like if you want to pursue internships in any organization, like for example, if you want to pursue internships in NTBC, and if you are having some contacts there, like you are, if you are having some relatives or some some like uncles or something, or anyone like any any contacts there, they have have some good position there, so they can easily help you to get the internships there. Okay. So recommendations and sources helps uh, like works a lot in during internships. So make sure that you make some recommended connections so that you can get internships very easily. This is the most effective way to get the internships. Okay, and and then moving toward okay, this was all about how to apply for the internships. Then moving toward like what what sort of ideal duration for the internship? So basically, you can do internships for. One to two months, okay. Minimum one month you should do the internships, and maximum you can do for two months, okay. Two one to two months are enough for internships. And what should be the timing of internship? Basically, you should do the internships in your summer break. Like during summer break, you have vacation in your college, so this is the best time that you can do your internships. And which year is best for internships? Like from your second year onwards, you should try doing internships in your summer break and winter break. Like first year, like let it be like in your first year, your branch paper are not started. So basically, the first year is for enjoyment only. So enjoy the first year, explore the college life, and from second year, you can start pursuing your internship during summer break or winter break. Okay, then which company is best? Like this is a very relative question. Like if you ask me, like which company is best? So I will just tell you that uh, go for that company which you want to work in future. Like if you are aiming to work for this kind of company in the future, to so try to get internships there, use your contacts, use your sources, or if the company gives or advertisement for online online internships uh, or like internships advertisement and such things, so apply for that. Okay. Cool. Then what are the perks of internships? Like there are immense perks of internships. The first, you will get the work experience. Okay, you will get the practical work experience. The things that you study in the college, in your labs, and in your books, you will get. You will get to see how this those things really works on ground. Okay, 
and it will boost your resume if you have done an internship or get training from a very good organization or if you have learned a lot from that organization it will definitely boost your resume and help you during placements it will also help you to build contacts and have a wide vision like if you will work on in that in any organization there you will have you will work under some engineer or any any such person who is working there so you will make your contacts there you will you will have bonding with the other people there you will and this will also wide your vision like how the things actually work in the industry are you suitable for those jobs or not or you have to switch your career and such things so you will get all those experience there as i have already mentioned this helps in placement and your semesters have credits for internships and training so it will also give you a good credit there and there are immense more perks of internships okay you must do your internship internships are very good things so always try to do two to three internships this is as for my personal experience i have done two to three internships in a very good organization so as for my personal experience i am telling you you must go for internship this are very good things you will get to see the industry from very very closely like how things works there and this will change your like this will widen your vision okay like you will get, actually get to know how things work and such things so internships are very important then what are the organization under which you can do in industry internship so basically i have named some okay you can do either. i may have missed something this is a basically i am giving you some examples you can like some similar you can do internships in your in your similar similar organizations okay as per your branch as per your requirement as per your need you should filter out those things and you have, you can apply for internships there some of like psu i have mentioned like psu you can do iucl core india ntpc and hpcl and hpcl in such many more psu where you can pursue your internships in some central organization like bccl drdo cbwd you can go there you can do internships in private giants companies like the organization by tata adani reliance vedanta and such organization okay then you can do internships under state organizations like pwd and such state organization then you can also apply for international internships you can apply for international internships through mitex and such LOC programs are there where you can apply for research internships in your inter internationally. Okay, you can also do that. And there are IT summer internships during every summer break. IT rolls out a notification for the summer internships. You can also apply there. Then you can do research internships under professors of your college or some other colleges, some other reputed colleges. Then you can apply for internships at research institutes. So these are basically the rough idea where you can apply for internships. Basically, you can. There are many other organizations also which I have not mentioned here. As per your branch, as per your need, you should apply. Apply for the organization. Okay. Ask your seniors like where to apply and such things. And here comes the my suggestions. What I like, I have done two to three internships. So as per my experience. what i learned i am sharing with you guys first like i will tell you that start from your second year onwards from second year summer break to so start doing your internships try to at least do minimum you should do a internships and maximum there is no limit try to do as much internships as possible try to do internships from a very good like training from central organization or big private organization because like in state organization i have done internships in both state private and central organization so as per my experience i learned that in state organization people are not so helpful like they will not make sure that you are learning something or, or not basically they will not guide you much so central organization or any big private organization they are very helpful to you the people there they will help you a lot they will cooperate with you and you will also get to learn many more things in the central or the big private organization so try to do your internships from the central or big private organization it will help you contact your seniors contact your immediate branch seniors or contact your other college seniors like if you are of your branch like ask them where they are pursuing their internships where where have they done this was it good or not or ask them like where where you should do those things okay your seniors will help you a lot in this thing and i just a humble suggestion that do your internship seriously basically the internships are for one month and people go and do internships for one week and after that just they go to get the certificate don't do that okay learn if you are doing internships do it seriously try to learn things there go ask you ask the ask the your supervisor like sir i am not getting this please explain this what is this you should be curious you should be you should always have a genuine curiosity to learn then only they will guide you otherwise they don't want to care no like you are not, you are not related to them then why should you help you in that way but if you are showing your curiosity there that you want to learn they will definitely help you and try to make good contacts in their organization because if you have having good contacts there they will help you they will always be helpful to you so try to make connections there 
so this was a suggestions from my side okay so in the in my upcoming videos i will like i will name some organization and i will help tell you to how to get internships there like ongc ioc and such things i will like i will make different videos like how to apply for internships there or what is the role of intern what is the role of intern there and such things i will make video on that and this was all uh, all a complete guide about internships like if you have any if you are having any other doubt regarding internships to comment below i will be more than happy to answer that and till then and guys please do subscribe the channel if you like the video and till then have a good day see you in the next video bye bye